Well, I just hope we're not going in circles. Come on. I knew I shouldn't have let you guys drive. Come on! Great fun. Let's make these outings a regular thing, okay? Kirby, inflate your bag! Help me! Help me! Ah! Welcome to your daily crypto news. Today, we are going to be looking at the Brave Browser. So the Brave Browser is a decentralized, privacy-centered browser. So right here at the top, you can see it says Secure Fast and Private Web Browser with Ad Blocker. So you can find the download to the Brave Browser in the site information below. So make sure you check that out and download the browser. You can click on there and download it for your iPad, your iPhone, your Android device, uh, your desktop computer, your Mac, anything you have, you can download the browser down there. So, why do we need this type of browser? Well, first of all, Google tracks everything you do. They know where you go, they know what websites you visit. You may not even be visiting bad websites, but they know all your spending habits. They're sending ads to you so that you will be more likely to purge something. And, you know, I just don't like it. We've talked about in a lot of our videos how it definitely seems like we've lost all of our privacy. And so cryptocurrency is about blockchain, is about decentralization, right? Because of that, as a community, we need to start using decentralized platforms. So I recently got on Steam and DTube, which is basically the... Uh, decentralized version of social media, the de decentralized version of YouTube. I'm hoping DTube really takes off because YouTube has really been messing with people's money lately. But the Brave browser is a decentralized browser that's an alternative to Chrome. It's an alternative to uh, Firefox. Or even if you use Safari or Internet Explorer, if you're into cryptocurrency, I really doubt you're into Internet Explorer. Hello, I'm an internet explorer. I'm here to explore the internet. Wow, it looks incredible. Okay, so with trying out these new browsers and with trying out these new decentralized platforms, they've got bugs in them. The DTube, sometimes your videos don't upload. Steemit, I haven't had really any problems with it. But I was expecting the same thing with this Brave browser. And so... Uh, I will tell you, if you click the link below in the site information or in the video information to be able to download the browser, I'll get some basic attention tokens. That's a new um, promotion that the Brave browser has. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you ahead of time that I could easily be shilling this to you. You know, I could easily be shilling you this like Verge shills their community. Uh, but that's just not the case. I was genuinely shocked when I downloaded this browser and started using it, just how easy it is to use. I mean, it's a freaking browser. You know what I mean? Like, how hard is it to use? But I expected there to be a lot of bugs with it, a lot of kinks. And I just, I don't know, I guess I hadn't researched it. I was under the impression it was going to be slower than the other browsers. But because it's blocking the cookies, it's blocking the ads, it's actually a good bit faster. So it's pretty crazy, really. Why have I not been using this already? Now, of course, Chrome has a lot of my information stored on it, which is kind of the point of why I will move away from it. But it's got my bookmark, so it's going to take me some time to fully switch. But I can tell you on my iPhone, I'll go ahead and show you guys. <clears throat> there is my Brave browser. I have already switched on my phone to using that as primary. So you will notice that I do still have Chrome on the phone. Safari is tucked away in this iPhone folder up here. Chrome, I just, I have it for one website. I visit one website. It's for a business I have. I need to use Chrome. But for my functional use, I have switched to the Brave browser. I'm not shilling you. I'm dead serious. So, 
I think that uh, for the phone, it works awesome. And for the desktop, it works great as well. You see here at the top, Brave ad support for Twitch creators and another million dollars. And th that is referencing their program where if you have a YouTube channel or a website, you can sign up. Basically, if someone downloads a browser through you, then you're able to get some basic attention tokens. I think that's huge because like we've been talking about, I think basic attention tokens going to be on Coinbase. So here it outlines that the Brave loads major news sites two to eight times faster than Chrome and Safari on mobile, and it's two times faster than Chrome on desktop. So you can just kind of look at those numbers there. And I'll tell you, after using it for a while, I believe these numbers. Here where it says save money, I mean, this is if you don't have unlimited data. I have unlimited data. I pay quite a penny for it, a pretty penny for it. But so this doesn't really affect me, the download speeds and stuff like that. But it is nice. Time is money. So it's nice to be able to download things faster. Here it talks about the, how it blocks ads and trackers. It, basically, what it's saying here is other browsers you can add extensions onto them that will block ads but they're never going to block a hundred percent so that's not the case with brave and then it's talking about time is money i am big on that uh it talks about how with the brave browser you're less likely to get uh malware ransomware and spyware i use a mac so honestly i don't worry about that if you have a uh, pc <clears throat> my advice would be to switch but uh I, i'm I try not to be a typical Mac user. I just switched probably about two years ago, but it's been awesome. So that, that doesn't really apply to me. Protect your privacy. So here it talks about if you have a private browser. Now, I actually use a private browser a very good bit. The reason is, is because with a private browser, I can log into different email addresses through Gmail at the same time. So I can have three different uh, Gmail accounts open at the same time. I've got a ton of email accounts for all kinds of different stuff. So I find it useful. But with uh, on a large news site, even when you're in uh, incognito, still they're tracking you. The only thing an incognito browser really does is it allows you, like I said, you can open you know, two platforms within the same browser, within the same brand browser. Um, I was talking about with the email, so you can open multiple Gmail accounts and they can't see each other. You could also do that for like Craigslist or there's tons of other different websites where you might want to have two accounts open at one time. The other thing it does is it just prevents some people, your prevents your family or your boss or whoever you want from seeing where you're going on the internet. So, I mean, that's not why I use it, but it may be why you use it. The truth is, is no matter where you go, people can go and they can see where you've been. If a police officer gets your laptop and wants to know the sites you visited, he can send it to their IT people and they will be able to figure it out. So with the Brave browser, that's not an option. There's no trackers. And here's just a little uh, display here on a typical news site, 68 trackers. The same site on Brave, absolutely zero. And I, I just want to once again talk about the functionality of this. It's fast. I've had no problems. I downloaded a I downloaded a huge file down here, as you can see. And, well, you can't see how huge it was. It was a really big file. Downloaded, no problems. Um, so, uh, I thought that was pretty good. I keep saying my disk space is full. But, um, three ways to use Brave privacy by default. Contribute basic attention tokens. Basically, what they're talking about is different ways that you can use the browser and like with contribute, it's talking about how instead of being advertised to, you can contribute and donate to different sites and content creators. Basic attention token is the Brave browser token of choice, which is really cool. And then it just goes into their commitment down here. So I'll let you guys visit the website and read it. I'm telling you guys, I was really impressed with this browser. And I am, as I said before, already using it on my phone. I'm going to be using it on my computer. And I th what you guys will see is when you see my videos in the future and you see the bottom tab or you see what I'm browsing on, I think what you'll see is I'll be using the Brave browser to go to Reddit, to read news stories and everything. So you'll actually be able to look and I can assure you and you'll be able to see that I'm not showing this. I think it's a great browser. So as a community, like I mentioned before, 
we got to move to decentralization. So download this browser. You can go down below in the video information and download it. I think it's an awesome step for cryptocurrency, decentralization, blockchain, the whole nine yards. So I hope this review has been helpful. I hope you've been able to really get a gist of what Brave Browser is. It's not a busted browser. It's just as good, if not better, as the browsers you're already using. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the alert button so you'll get notifications. And that was your daily crypto news.